Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to wash your hands, how health professionals wash their hands because of the pandemic we're experiencing at the moment from the coronavirus. I think these hand washing techniques that are taught to health professionals are going to help you protect yourself and your family from the transmission of any infectious diseases or germs and bacteria from doing daily tasks. We use these techniques to help us prevent any transmissions from patient to patient. So why not use these techniques as well at home? I'll be using black paint to replicate how the soap that you'll be using will spread over your hands and kill the germs with these techniques. So I'm just putting some gloves on because it's gonna be easier for me to clean up after this video instead of having black paint directly on my skin. So before we start washing our hands, always remove all our jewelry. So if you wear rings or bracelets or watches like me, just take your everything off and then you can start washing your hands. So I'm just gonna use a dab of black paint, so just like soap. So make sure you wet your hands with water before you start using the soap so the soap lathers over your hand. The first technique is just rub your hands together in a circular motion. Everyone tends to do this. It's almost like innate that we know how to wash our hands with rubbing our inner palms together for a while, for 20 seconds. As you can see, by just rubbing your inner palms together, it will leave the back of your hands out from the soap, in this case the black paint. So this is a very ineffective way to wash your hands by just rubbing your inner palms together. We're gonna have to wash our back of the hands as well. Now with the second technique, instead of just rubbing your inner palms together, interlace your fingers together so your fingers are now in between each other and slide them up and down between each other. This way you can then lather the soap in between your fingers, which is very important because a lot of dirt and grime and even viruses and bacteria do get caught in between your fingers, especially if you're handling food and using different utensils throughout the day. So we washed our inner palms quite well, but make sure you wash on the back of your hands as well. Just use your other hand and rub the back of the other hand in a circular motion. Lather that soap liberally and spread it all over the back of your hand. So it could break down all those germs and viruses and oils and dirt and grimes that could be sticking on the back of your hands. As you can see, the paint is slowly covering all over my hands, replicating how soap would cover my hands as well. So it's very important to lather the soap in our inner palms, between our fingers and the back of our hands as well. And slowly the paint will all cover my hands and just like how the soap should cover all of your hands as you wash your hands. Make sure you also wash the back of the hands with your fingers interlaced as well. That way you can wash in between your fingers on the back of your hand. And you can see and notice there's still some blue showing on the side of my fingers. So it's very important if you can interlace your fingers and lather that soap in between those fingers just like that. You can still see some blue on the side of my fingers and my thumb. So to lather the soap in this area, well in this case black paint, create a loose fist on the other hand and place your thumb or your finger into that loose fist and create a twisting motion and that way you will lather the soap all over your fingers, well in this case black paint, all over that area so the soap can break away any of the dirt and grime and bacteria or viruses that could be attached to your skin in this area. I also want to take this chance to talk about why hand washing is such a great way to prevent the spread of coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. The coronavirus is protected with a layer of oil, a hydrophobic layer which it repels water. Hydro meaning water and phobic meaning scared of it. So scared of water. So hydrophobic means scared of water. Now if you just wash your hand only with water, it has the ability to repel water away and still stick on our hands. We, as a species, actually secrete oily substances from our skin to moisturize our skin. So, hydrophobic particles like hydrophobic substances. So, oils like oils, water likes water. The coronavirus, because it's hydrophobic, it would love to stick on our oily skin. So to really wash away and break down the coronavirus so it doesn't continue to spread in our communities, it's best to wash with anything that's a detergent or a soap that has ability to break down oils. So that's why it's so important to wash your hands with soap and not just with water. 
Now, just because you put soap onto your hands and you wash it within a few seconds, it's not going to work. It takes time for the soap to break down these layers as well. And that's why it's been advised to wash for more than 20 to 30 seconds, especially with these techniques, which allows you to spread the soap as much as possible all over your hands. You can see there, there's still some blue on the area of my wrists where my watch was, and also some blue on my right wrist as well. And this area can easily be missed, especially if you're just going to rub your inner palms together when you wash your hands. So it's really important to wash this area out and lather that soap all over your wrist. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to lather paint up my forearm. So you can also wash up your forearm as well. Don't just wash your inner palms and to your wrist. You gotta understand that germs and viruses can stick on your body if you lean on things, especially if you're in a public setting. For example, a dining table, a rail. Now the black paint has been lathered all over my gloves, but however, in this video, I can't show that we haven't been able to access under my nails or under your nails especially if you can't carry a nail brush around to clean on your nails. This is a great technique to be able to wash under your nails as well. So to wash under your nails, just with one hand, put your fingers together and then with the other hand open, put your fingers in the inner palm of that hand and then twist or scrub up and down in the inner palm of the other hand. The soap will then seep in between the nails and wash away any dirt and grime under there as much as possible. You've done a great job so far and then replicate it on the other hand as well. This is going to be able to break down a lot of the dirt and grime in between your nails that get caught under there especially if you're going to be handling food or you're going to be working in the garden. A lot of times dirt and grime can actually get under here. So it's a great way to get soap under there and also wash away any debris or any germs or nasties that could be caught under there and living there. Congratulations guys, you've washed your hands very thoroughly. The black paint is all over my gloves. And if you've done this technique with soap, your hands are very, very clean. As you can see before and after, the gloves were blue and now they're entirely black. The black illustrates how much the soap is lathered all over my hands. So please try this technique out so we can reduce the spread of diseases, germs, bacteria and viruses. And in our case at the moment, the coronavirus COVID-19. Let's help each other out and try to fight this pandemic that's causing so much grief around the world. Good luck guys. Another thing I want to add and before I forget is when you want to dry your hands, try not to use the air blowers in public toilets because that could spray and blow a lot of bacteria and germs back onto your hands once again. Best thing to do is use a fresh piece of paper towel and just dry your hands with that. That way you can reduce the amount of germs and any nasties that could be re- and that way you can avoid recontaminating your hands from germs, nasties and viruses. Good luck guys. Once again guys, thanks for watching. I hope these hand washing techniques are gonna prevent you from spreading any infectious diseases. It's gonna protect your friends and family and yourself in particular, and protect you from other infectious diseases and bacteria spread, and not just the coronavirus. Washing your hands is important regardless. Now you're gonna be touching keyboards, sharing phones, um, also food handling as well. So washing your hands is important no matter what. Now I might be posting more videos regarding hygiene, so let me know if you wanna see that in the comments section. Or if you are working at home at the moment because of the coronavirus, I really recommend looking after your posture. So check out my postural videos as well. And remember to support my channel, hit subscribe, hit like, comment below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one.